Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and we're here to compare both weapons whether it's going to be the 4 star or this 5 star snapshot ace, which of them is better. But before that, let's go over the two weapons here that uh, I am going to be showcasing so that you guys are going to be familiar with which is which. So we have here Pure Venger. This is the 4 star weapon which is actually available here in the store so you can get copies of this here um the first one is going to be available in the limited portion at a cheaper price so again i got the first weapon as a four star and uh, i'm gonna be getting copies of it up to five star so with that said for your five star weapon we have snapshot ace uh this is again orange tier five stars you can actually get it here in the banner so both of them have similar stats in terms of this fixed stats the one that we're going to be discussing is going to be the abilities of each gun and how they stack up against each other okay so with that said here are the straight in your face stats for both of them so pure venger is a four star Stats is going to be additional skills, basically not stats. Max energy is 20, similar with snapshot ace. Skill damage, however, if you compare, um, this triggers with four stacks being escalating at the first, second, third, and fourth with 9, 18, 27, and 36. So you can, if you can sustain it at four stacks, then definitely you're going to be getting the full 36. By the way, guys, these two guns are at only one copy. Obviously, the skill damage um, scales up as you get a copy of each gun. From what I see, um, Tier 2 of Pure Venger is going to be a plus 1.5% for each of the stacks. So you do the math up to five stacks and you'll be getting that amount i think you'll be getting a total of plus six percent for each of the stacks for pure venger um i think up to tier five so if you look at the four stacks plus six that's going to be 42 so that is going to be the max stat buff or or skill buff or whatever the it, this is basically a skill add-on for the gun. For Snapshot Ace, however, max energy is the same again at 20. Skill damage is only at 21. Take note that this is just one copy. We still need one copy and another copy for Tier 2 basically to max out the gun. So I assume that the 21% would go up. Not sure how much it will go up for another copy. But definitely, it would be near um, the max for Pure Venger. Okay? The other thing that Snapshot is that, that Pure Venger doesn't have is your electrical damage. So, this one triggers with three stacks. So, again, you have to use your skill damage to trigger these stacks. So, electrical damage is 6, 12, and 18. I'm sure this scales up again as you get another copy. Plus, if you are at the third, take note, at the third stack, there's a plus 18 skill damage that you can trigger in addition to the electrical damage, which adds up to this one, this skill damage here. So take note, this gun has a lot more bonuses in terms of damage. This is going to be max three, stack, three stacks. So again... This, that, this this gun is going to give you more damage in the long run and more sustained damage because the skill damage here is going to be fixed while the skill damage for Pure Venger is going to be triggered per stack. Once you go down the fourth stack, it goes down back to zero. Then you have to bring the stacks up again. So this damage is uh, basically hard to sustain if you're Pure Venger because definitely you'll be running out of s energy and you'll be using your gun again some of these stacks will 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 go back to zero once you shoot the enemy so this is contingent on both i think both skills are contingent the skill damage here the, the, the stacking here are contingent on you using 
skill damage and not pistol damage. So once you use pistol damage, it will go back to zero. Okay, so including this one, the 18 skill damage here with electrical damage, this goes to zero once you use your pistol damage for this um, for this particular effect. So that is it. So that is in the clear difference between both of the guns. Again, if you want maximum damage, Snapshot Ace is going to be your biggest bet. But again, if you're on a budget and if you're like me right now, I'm still uh, trying to pull for Snapshot Ace. Pure Avenger is actually acceptable. But again, if you want to max out the damage of Agave, definitely go for Snapshot Ace. Okay, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. Also, comment down in the comment section. Take care. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.